Sharpshooter, Lethal, Long Ranger, Swift, Pacey, Ambidextrous, Executionist, Hard Hitter, and Spontaneous are some of the words that clearly describe one of the most prolific strikers to have emerged from Ghana, West Africa, Africa. Tony Yabua, born on 6th June 1966, Yabua was a professional footballer who played as a forward from 1981 to 2002. The late 1980s and the entire 1990s saw Yabua bamboozle the German Bundesliga and English Premier League. Before then, Yabua would have had stint with Kumase Asante Kotoko, Ukwehu United, and Cornerstones FC, all in Ghana. Tony Yabua thrived at other clubs, including FC Sabrokin, Hamburg SV, and Al Itihad, but this literature throws more light on his spells at Frankfurt and Leeds United. He announced his presence at Frankfurt by scoring 68 goals in 123 appearances between 1990 and 1995. Dancing his way through defences, he posed as a black shiny volcano that tormented defenders and the Bundesliga. Tony Yeboah was seemingly unquenchable. His sharp shooting cut the Bundesliga sides like a sword through the flesh. This remarkable feat made him win the Bundesliga Golden Boot in the 1992-1993 and 1993-1994 seasons, scoring 20 goals and 18 goals respectively. Between this period, Yaboa became Bundesliga's first ever African captain. Consequently, Yaboa was ranked ninth on the FIFA Player of the Year list in 1993, and that is the closest any Ghanaian footballer has come in world football. It was not long ago until Howard Wilkinson, who happened to be Leeds United's manager from 1995 to 1996, brought him to Alland Road. Before then, Leeds United had failed to score in six hours of football. The deal from Frankfurt to Leeds United was tiring and nearly called off due to language barrier, work permit issues and the inability of the Ghana Football Association to provide the English FA with prerequisite information about Tony Yeboa. That is total number of caps and total number of caps missed with the Black Stars. Leeds United Club Secretary Nigel Pleasant explained. The deal was finally completed for £3.5 million and Yeboah started an electrifying love affair with Leeds United and her fans. Fans mostly chanted, Tony, Tony, Boa, Tony, 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 Yeboah, Leeds. He established himself as a golden signing. Tony was in a class of his own who I call the Knight of Alan Road, Tony Yeboa, between 1995 and 1997, made 66 caps and scored 32 goals. During the 1995-1996 Premier League season, any time a ball rattled the crossbar and entered the net, it was a Yegola. The crossbars in England might have had a huge sigh of relief when he departed Leeds. He won the Premier League goal of the month twice with his spectacular goals against Liverpool and Wimbledon. To date, both goals are ranked as part of the Premier League's greatest goals ever. Yabua had the tenacity of hitting the ball with either foot as hard as Mike Tyson's punches in his prime. He ended the 1995-1996 season by undoubtedly winning Leeds United's Player of the Year award. Howard Wilkinson described Yeboa as being a cross between Mark Hughes and Eric Cantona. Tony Yeboa topped it all in 1997 by winning the Ghanaian Footballer of the Year award. Gula scored 29 goals in 59 games for the Black Stars of Ghana. is the only Ghanaian with a hat-trick in the Premier League's history. His record as the highest scoring Ghanaian in the EPL with 24 goals was surpassed in 2020 by Jordan Ayew of Crystal Palace after scoring his 25th Premier League goal. The only Ghanaian player set to break this record and seemingly set a new one is West Ham's Mohamed Kudus.
Tony Yeboah goes down as a cult hero for Leeds United and one of the greatest footballers of all time to have emerged from Ghana, Africa. Take a bow.